All right, so I'm going to be covering how you can go ahead and start using this powerful free tool called Skype and start connecting with your clients online. Now, the first thing you're going to do is download the Skype software onto your computer. So what you're going to do is go to skype.com and once you're on the home page, you're going to click on the downloads tab. And from there, scroll down and get Skype for Mac if you have a MacBook. If you have a Windows, there's other options down here that you can learn about and download for, for Windows. So in my case, I would click on Get Skype for Mac, download it, and make sure that you have the system requirements in place so that you can open it and start using it. So once you have that downloaded, you're going to find it on your tab or wherever it's installed on your computer and click on the Skype icon. From here, you're going to have to put in your Skype name. And again, if you haven't created an account, this is where you would go. You would go to join us and you'd create an account with Skype so you can you know set up your free account with them so once you have that in place put in your Skype name and then put in your password to log in and here once I log in you're gonna see your set of contacts here of course if you're new you're not going to have a list yet so you're probably going to want to add your a new contact um, or your address book and connect it to it. Um, let's focus right now on adding a new contact and how to do that. So you click on that add contact tab and from there you can find using the email address or the name of the person that you want to add in the search feature and you just add them. Uh, from there uh, I have a sample um, contact here, Echo123, which is a Skype test call user that we'll be using later to make test calls to, to check the audio quality of our microphone. So when you add the contact, they're going to have the the person that you add they're going to have to confirm that you add them and once they're confirmed they'll be added to your contacts list and in this case the skype test call echo one two three uh, was automatically added because this is a robot um, so from there i'm going to also cover the skype test call feature in a little bit but before i do i want to show you something important and that is the different affordable pricing options via Skype and it, Skype is a really convenient affordable way to uh, contact people from different countries around the world so if you have coaching clients let's say in uh, the United Kingdom or Canada there's actually really affordable monthly pricing options to consider so you can call using landline to them. Uh, these are just some of the options here. The unlimited US and Canada minutes so you can call to Canada and all these other countries uh, for $2.99 a month. That's what I personally use. Uh, also $7.99 a month you can call all these countries including Mexico and for $13.99 a month, you can call all of these other countries around the world uh, using Skype. So these are definitely some plans that you may want to consider. Now, of course, the free Skype option that you do have in place already, uh, you can <clears throat> call anyone that has a Skype username. Uh, so you cannot with the free version you cannot call landlines but you can call people that are signed up with skype 
and are online. Okay, so now that we added the Skype test call, we're going to see if we have a clear and fully functional, functional microphone. So we click on the Skype test call and we're gonna click on call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. This is Sylvia testing. This is Sylvia testing. So I could hear my voice right there, which means it works. If you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured Skype correctly. If you hear this message, but not your own voice, and something is wrong with you wrong with you so now that I can hear my own voice I know that I'm good to go here and that's basically the Skype test call feature that uh, you know not I don't I don't know how people know about it but it's very useful just to see how you sound and that it's clear for the other person on the line that's hearing you now the other thing I want to cover is how to make a call with or without a camera. And with Skype, I'm gonna show you an example here that, um, you know, the other day I was talking to Mary and uh, let's say you added a contact and you're wanting to uh, make a call using just your microphone. So like you're picking up the telephone, making a call. Well, you can do that and just, you know, click on call. But if you wanna make a video call, which means connecting your webcam with your microphone. You're gonna select video call down here. Now, of course, uh, for testing purposes, I'm not gonna do that right now, but that's just an option for you that uh, you can consider doing, um, especially when you're coaching clients. Maybe some clients like that you are on camera and they can see your face they can see your body language language while you're coaching them so that's a, a useful option for you as a coach uh, when coaching clients one-on-one -on -one. now the last thing I want to cover is basically the dial pad feature and the dial pad feature is uh, basically on the top right corner here and you're just gonna click on that. And here, you can easily just type in whatever landline number that you wanna contact. Uh, and in this case, with the free version, uh, you know, you're know you going to have to pay credits, uh, so you will be charged per minute on whatever, uh, however long you talk, so keep that in mind. However, if you're on a monthly plan option, like I am, for example, at two ninety nine a month, I can call anyone, uh, any landline number in the U.S. or Canada. And these are just all the different uh, countries that you have available uh, to you. Regardless, uh, you just will be charged with the free version. Uh, but for me, you know, I can call anyone for free in the U.S. or or Canada, and. Uh, it's very easy, you just type in the number and then click on the call feature. So, you know, definitely uh, keep this dial pad feature in mind and use it, especially when you do decide to uh, go with the monthly plan option if that's what you want. Okay, so now that you learn how to use the Skype, and download it and add a contact and went through all the basic information um, the next step which is I was very excited when I first uh, learned about it is to share a screen and as coaches sharing screen it's a very important tool um, to guide and teach your clients 
through visual, through actually seeing um, what what you're what you're teaching them, like on a visual way. So in order to do that, I have to call someone. So I'm going to call Sylvia, and then I can show you how to share a screen. Okay. So now it's calling. Hey, Sylvia. Hi, Mary. How are you? So now I want to share with everyone how to share a screen, okay? So as you can see, Sylvia answered, and now there is that little plus here. So when I click on it, I get different options, and one of them is share a screen. So when I click on that share a screen, then start, as you can see, now Sylvia can see my screen and if I want to show her um, you know something on the school of online business or teach her something or then uh, she can directly see my screen and as I speak and move through different screen or guide her through any process she can visually see it and hear me at the same time and um, this is an awesome, awesome feature. Um, now I'm going to stop sharing the screen. So as soon as you're done with whatever you need to teach or show, then you stop sharing the screen. And the next feature I want to show you is how to send a file. Now Skype has a very um, a, a big advantage because you can send huge file, really, really big files that are not possible through emails, definitely not through Facebook. Uh, I found that with Skype, it's the easiest to send really, really big files. So you, you click again on the same little plus there, and you choose the option on the menu to send the file. Um, now you get the different uh, it takes you to your own file and I choose from the desktop um, let me see what I'm gonna send Sylvia as you can see there is a lot of things on my on my desktop so I'll just pick something here and I'm sending it and as I send it, you see Sylvia gets a notification that I'm sending something. She has to accept it on her end. And the one thing that's important about Skype when you send the file is that both of us, you and the person you send the file to, we both have to be on. Um, and the other person has to accept it at the same time. So now, Sylvia, can you accept the file, please? You show us how it goes. Uh, let's see here. You have that little line in the bottom, and you just uh, yes, press it's accept. Yes, in the chat box. Yeah, and you just accept it. You see, now she accepted it, and uh, once you double click on it, it will. Once she double click on it, it will open the document for her. So. Mm -hmm. Um, that's sending a file. The next uh, feature we're going to do is a conference call. So again, you go back to that little plus. It has a lot of, uh, that little plus has a lot of uh, features and benefits. So you click on it and we can create a conference call by adding people. So you click on add people and it asks me to choose someone from my list and I'm going to pick Luke as you can see here and I'm adding and now Sylvia, Luke and myself are on the call um, and basically I'm going to stop it because okay I'm hanging up <laughs> so Basically, as you can see, I created a conference call by adding a person. And you can add more than three. I think it's at the limit is five. Uh, but you go to add a, a person again. 
you pick a person from your list, you add to the call, and you have to first call like the first person or add the first person and then add the second and the third and the fourth um, and create a conference call. So that's that's an awesome um, an awesome tool to use. So, um, hey, Luke. Hello. Hey, you there? We Hi. are we are recording a conference call, and I um, called you just to show that feature. So you are oh. on, you are on the recording as well. <laughs> yeah. Practice for two. Yeah. Awesome. So basically, we are done with um, this feature, and um, yeah, I think we are good to go. Awesome. All right.